This week in gaming, Sony gave us a new Umbrella logo. Epic gave us a new Unreal Engine. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 gave us new remasters. And Assassin's Creed Valhalla gave us 30 FPS. Stay tuned for more. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, I'm Jay Borbon. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to like this video, share with a friend, comment below, and subscribe. Sony unveiled its new Umbrella logo and accompanying this logo is an animation, basically uniting all of its first party studio games. The opening video and animation is going to come out alongside the PlayStation 5. The studio's branding is not going to be ready in time for uh, games like The Last of Us 2 or Ghost of Tsushima. Eric Lempel, who's the senior vice president over at Sony, he's also the global head of marketing, uh, he says that the logo will appear on other platforms. What do you think he means by other platforms? Could he be referring to the Nintendo Switch or possibly the competition Xbox Series X? Most likely he means PC. We have games coming this year to PC, such as Horizon Zero Dawn and Death Stranding. Speaking of PC, Grand Theft Auto 5 is now available for free. Fresh off of Xbox's Game Pass, you could grab a copy via the Epic Game Store. It seems like everybody's trying to grab a copy, so if you get an error, just try again. Uh, just make sure you do it before May 21st. That's when the deal goes away. And don't rush. The game isn't going anywhere. It's not like they're gonna run out of free copies. I got mine this morning, so it should be working. Give it a try. Sticking with Epic, they revealed their new Unreal Engine 5 in a stunning video that showed off two new core elements to the engine, Nanite and Lumen. Brian Karras, technical director of graphics, and Jerome Plateau, I hope I'm saying that right. I'm pretty sure I'm butchering it, but the, the guy has a French name. It gets a bit technical, but we don't want to go too much into detail, not just yet. So in summary, Nanite is able to leverage virtualized geometry, which makes it easier for game artists to bring their creation to life. And this way, they don't have to tweak and optimize. In the video, Kara says, art that just works. Moving on to the other new addition, Lumen provides a lighting solution with dynamic global illumination. This allows for more realistic bouncing between lights and surfaces. So while the real life engine demo is said to be running on the PlayStation 5, we can pretty much expect these same technologies on the Xbox Series X. Phil Spencer tweeted this about the many Xbox game studios that currently use the Unreal Engine and about being excited about bringing those new innovations to their games. It's important to note that the Unreal Engine 5 is not set to release until late next year with an early beta coming in early 2021. So it looks like we'll have to wait at least another year before we start seeing games that are gonna fully take advantage of this new engine. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 are getting remasters. I remember when I was younger, I played the heck out of that demo that came with a pizza box. I just don't know if the me at that age, two times over, is still gonna be as into the game as I was back then. It is something to keep an eye out for. Ubisoft has confirmed that Assassin's Creed Valhalla is gonna run at 30 FPS on the Xbox Series X. No word on the PlayStation 5 yet, but chances are if it, it's probably gonna run around the same thing. But 30 FPS, the gaming world is very upset. And understandably so, these next gen consoles can handle way more than that. Uh, Microsoft has been very clear that their target point is 4K 60 FPS. And I understand that a lot of people out there don't know necessarily about frame rates or even care, but these consoles are more than capable, so they should be delivering at that target at least 4K 60. In a statement Ubisoft provided to IGN, they stated, Assassin's Creed Valhalla will run at a minimum of 30 FPS. On Assassin's Creed Valhalla, we are committed to offer the best experience to our players by immersing them in the most powerful worlds and environment we can create and leveraging not only the graphics enhancements offered by the next gen of consoles, but also faster load times and the new architecture. Of course, things may change as we move closer to the launch of the next gen consoles. This also gives them time to optimize for the new hardware. But this, this most likely is a situation where they want to under promise and over deliver. Sad news for Titanfall fans out there, Vince Zampella, head of Respawn, confirmed that there is no Titanfall in development. 
Vince claims that Titanfall is near and dear to everybody at Respawn. It's the game that put them on the map, showed the world the caliber of games that they can produce. Some other notable titles from Respawn Entertainment include Apex Legends and Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. According to Vince, Apex Legends will instead get some Easter eggs or nods to Titanfall. With the upcoming Unreal Engine 5 on the horizon, I wouldn't be surprised if in the near future or shortly after the official release of the engine, we hear that a new Titanfall is in development. Titanfall 3 maybe? So that's it for this week in Gaming News Roundup. Follow us on Instagram, DM us for a chance to get featured, not only on our Instagram page, but also on an upcoming video that we're making.